Okay, welcome to the video of how to make a crystal. Um, we're going to be drawing a cluster of crystals today that we'll later fill in with watercolor. To get started, I'm going to, of course, write my name on the back of my paper and the class period. Okay. Flip my paper over. I want to make sure that my crystals are kind of centered, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of a dot. This will end up being erased eventually, but it's going to be a guide as far as where I want my crystals to be pointing towards. They're all going to gather at a central point in the middle of my paper. Um, next, I'm going to kind of decide where the tops are going to be. I might have one there, one there, one there, one there. Maybe just a couple of random dots. I'd say five, six is probably a good number. Okay, let's start with one of the smaller ones. From the dot that I made, I'm going to make basically a couple of lines coming out like this. Now they can be the same length, one can be slightly longer as you see here, it can be triangular. That's going to be the top facet or the pointy face of my crystal. So I can go ahead and connect those two and end up with a triangle. And then I'm going to make a line on the other side that's perhaps a little bit shorter and connect those. I'll end up with a pyramid looking shape. Now, if I come down here towards my central point, uh, I'm going to let it get a little bit wider as it moves away. It should be more narrow at the top, but what you can see is you end up with kind of a crystalline structure. Um, let's try something a little different up here. On this dot, instead of doing that triangle, I'm going to have one line that comes down, and then instead of having this one be perfectly straight, I'm going to have it go out at an angle and then maybe come down like that. Now when I connect these, I still have that facet, that smooth face at the top of my crystal, but rather than being a, a triangle, it's a different parallelogram. This gets interesting when I come in over here and make that triangle shape. It ends up with another facet on our crystal. Let's connect these two. And we've got a interesting shape our crystal right there. All right, this will end up being another crystal that comes down. I might have something in front of it, so I'll go ahead and leave that for now. Keeping my central point roughly in mind, I'm going to do a line there, I'm going to do a line here, and if I connect them like that, that's the top base of my crystal. Um, I'll have a little one that comes up to the side here. Notice I'm using a ruler to get those nice straight lines. If you prefer to use uh, no ruler and just a steady hand, that's okay too. I want everything to point to this direction roughly, but they can go out to the side a little bit. That's okay. They can be a little bit unnatural. These are organic forms made by nature, so they're not going to be perfectly perfect. And I'm going to let this one kind of come behind that one. I'm not going to bring this all the way down because I might have another crystal in front of it. All right, maybe I'll throw in another little crystal here. Start with that kind of triangle shape. And they do taper a little bit. What I mean by that is they get a little more narrow as they go towards the top and they're a little wider at the bottom. So do keep that in mind when you're making your crystals. Heading roughly for that central point, letting it get a little bit wider, and maybe leaving room in case I want to overlap. Let's add one over here. I liked that face that I made there. I'm going to do something similar here. Add in that extra line. Okay. And then this becomes my triangle. I could add in another facet if I want to make this a big crystal. Kind of interesting. And bring it down roughly towards that central point, letting the crystals get wider as they move away from the center. Or excuse me, away from the top. Well, I like what's happening. All right, I've got two more dots here, so I'm going to add those in. Also, I'm going to start thinking about the base. Crystals often sit in kind of a rougher, um, less geometric base. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to let the crystals just kind of end by nestling into a wiggly line. And I'll bring that all the way around. And sometimes they're a little bit asymmetrical. I can bring that off to the side. Notice how kind of wiggly squiggly that line is. 
I've got our other crystal here. I'm actually going to pull that light up a little bit. Oops. Accidentally used my masking fluid and eraser. Don't do that. Bring these only get a little flat on the top. That's kind of interesting. Okay, interesting stuff happening here. Playing around a little bit, that's okay. Maybe I'll let this kind of come down like that. Cool. I like what's happening. Bring it this way. Bring it down this way. And get that rough edge there. Okay, one more on this side. Trying something a little different. Play around a bit, see if you can come up with some interesting crystal shapes. That one has a little bit of a diamond at the top. And you could add a few little ones back there so they're not all the same. Okay, maybe one more back here. I don't need to see the whole thing either. I can let it tuck back behind another crystal just to give it that sense of depth, like there's some action going on. Okay, and you probably want to end up with at least five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm good. Make sure that all your rough and bumpy edges are in. Cool. You are ready for the next 